guys welcome back to another video so in this video I'm gonna be cast netting again seems like you guys really like when I cast net I actually just threw a cast net out um, and I was able to catch a really small fish I'm not sure what this fish is I think it's just a really small baby bluegill but he has this red tail on him uh oh and it looks like uh, that line is right in his gills let's see if I can get him out he's still alive so he just is trying to get out here we go fish number one the perfect snack for a largemouth bass off you go buddy I just cast netted in these little puddles of rock and I got me a bunch of bluegill in, in this uh, in this catch all right so let's see here all right <laughs> They're all spiky right now because they're extremely scared. But just a bluegill. I think that one's a red eared slider. Alright, here we go. Let's put, go ahead and put them in the bait bucket. Bloop, bloop. Alright, and this one this one's kind of cool. He looks like a red eared slider. I can tell by the, the shape of the head and the uh, color pattern guys check it out i caught me a baby catfish oh my god oh i'm scared he might sting me though i don't know if they can sting you or not but uh i caught a baby catfish guys i hope you guys can see this he's so cute oh this is amazing i caught me a baby catfish my first ever catfish oh my god dude you are definitely going in the tank oh my god you are cool all right guys let's go ahead and put them in the water i also caught me a uh, baby bluegill so catfish baby bluegill let's go ahead and get them in the bucket all right let's go ahead and catch more fish poor guy where'd this guy come from he's all dried up and dead now but looks like he's been here forever I wonder how we got here. Alright guys, I threw the cast net in there again. Nothing but extremely small baby bluegill, which is good food for big fish. In we go, partner. And we got another one here. Hopefully he doesn't get lost in the grass. Here we go. Bada bang, bada boom. Alright guys, so we are back in my backyard looking at the 29 gallon tank there's a few fish in here still got that gold panfish over there we got the red eared slider down here and then we have a uh, few bass minnows here let's go ahead and add the new fish that I just caught so I got a few fish here I got a few uh, bluegills in here I want to go ahead and put them in it's really hard to uh, hold these guys and uh, keep them still because they like to flop around this one hit the floor, so hopefully he's okay. It seems like he's a little stunned, but go ahead and put him in. Whoop. He's a little dizzy, but I think he'll be okay. That's a cool looking fish. All right, next fish that we got here is just a decent sized bluegill. I'm gonna go ahead and put him in. There he goes. And now we have a extremely small baby bluegill that baby bluegill is super tiny, but I'm gonna keep him out here. He'll be okay in this tank. This guy is trying to, uh, this guy is trying to jump out of my hand. So, got another baby bluegill. You can barely see his little head right, right there. I gotta hold him pretty tight so he doesn't jump out of my hand. But I'm gonna go ahead and put him in. Nope. Alright guys, so there's my baby catfish, and I also got some more bluegills here. I'm kind of afraid to hold the baby catfish because I don't want to get stung. But, I got to do it for a thumbnail. There we go. Stay still, stay still. Yeah. Alright guys, we got another bluegill. I'm going to go ahead and throw this guy in there as well. In he goes? Yep, in he goes. Throw him in the tank. Damn, bada boom. The water's cold, dude. They're a cold fish. We got a, another cool looking uh, sunfish. Not sure what variation, but we're gonna go ahead and throw him in there as well. 
And there we go. All right, guys. This is bluegill number what eight, ten? I lost count, but another bluegill here. Hopefully, you guys can see him. He's going in the tank. There we go. In the tank he goes. All right, and last fish of the day. We got ourselves a red-eared slider sunfish, I believe. I'm just assuming that because of the uh, color pattern on this one. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and throw him in a tank as well. And there he goes. All right, guys. So uh, my catfish. It seems like he's trying to burrow underneath my uh, sponge filter. Looks like he's doing a pretty good job. So hopefully you guys can see him now. But there he is. He kind of looks like a uh, albino catfish. Uh, I thought he was going to be blue. But he's really bronze. These fish are really freaking out. Like, look at that guy right there. He's willing to kill himself under that sponge filter just to get away from me. So there's all my fishies. Yeah, it looks like we have a few different species of uh, panfish in here. You can tell by the markings and stuff like that. This tank definitely needs to be cleaned. I threw in a worm in here to see if that guy would eat, but uh, he did not eat. And the minnows, he did not eat. So I think he's still stressed out. Uh, honestly, I feel like if I took out all of these fish, um, then the fish would be okay. So, I need to hurry up and get these guys medicated so I can get them uh, fed to Albert. So, that way I can lessen the fish population in here. I feel like these two fish right here are different type of fish. Uh, their color patterns are really unique to me. And their eyes stand out from all the other bluegills to me. And the way they're behaving and separating themselves with all of the other fish that are on this side... Uh, I think they're a different species because if you look at these fish and then you look at those fish, they look totally different and you can even tell by the tail of that fish that they're uh, a different type of fish. But as usual, you guys can correct me if I'm wrong. Um, so again, I pretty much want to keep this fish and I want to keep that fish and now I'm thinking of keeping those guys pretty soon I'll get these guys in a bigger tank I just gotta figure out what I really want to do so I'm having trouble getting this guy to eat food I'm gonna try again tomorrow probably feed him some crickets and some worms and maybe throw in a few minnows like I said earlier I feel like if I lessen the amount of fish that are in here um, he would feel right at home just like my last bluegill did hey everyone it's master aquatics so in these video clips here, I just want to show you how Albert's been doing. Albert is my largemouth bass. A lot of people were saying that he was like too skinny and that I wasn't feeding him enough. So I wanted to show a more recent feeding. A lot of people were also saying like, you know, I shouldn't keep feeding him worms and that I should feed him a variety of foods. Uh, the thing is, is that I do feed him different foods. Albert, he doesn't eat some days. Some days he'll just want to eat worms. Some days he'll just want to eat really small fish. And some days he'll want to just eat big fish. Some days he just wants to kill fish and doesn't want to eat anything. It really just depends on how my large mouth is feeling on that day. There are a couple things that I do want to try feeding him in the future, which I won't say yet, but I will do a special feeding video of this guy hopefully before January comes around and I do apologize for not mentioning this earlier but the reason why I'm wearing the black gloves is just because they happen to be black but they're just basic like rubber gloves I didn't want to touch the worms in the fish with my bare hands so that's why I'm wearing the gloves if anybody's wondering the only problem that I'm having with this guy is that you know a lot of people were saying that the aquarium is too small for him and aquarium is borderline too small for him but it's not really too small for him right now the reason why it's small for him right now is because because there's that big old piece of driftwood in there which I'm planning on getting rid of I really don't want it in there anymore because it's just too big so I'll definitely be re aquascaping this tank pretty soon to better suit Albert's need if anybody has any advice on how to break 
down that big old piece of driftwood let me know also any suggestions on what to feed albert if you guys have anything that you guys want me to feed him let me know and i'll make a video feeding it to him he really loves the small minnows and shiners um, that i have in my bait tank he loves eating those guys um, as you can see so i think i'll continue to feed him the way that i've been feeding him now i mean if you just look at the color of his skin or scale or body or whatever you can see that it's really vibrant and it's really it's glowing and it has a really nice shine to it you can always tell how happy a fish is by how beautiful their colors are if there's not too much color on a fish that means they're stressed out and they're not doing too well this can usually be seen with many cichlid fish bluegills and sunfish are a really good example of that um, if they're really stressed out they're real they will start to lose a lot of their colors so and also these minnows that i'm feeding him they were in my quarantine tank for a few weeks only thing i'm really worried about is that thin layer of film that was on his gills i'm not sure what that was but his tank was really dirty so there was a lot of algae on the plants there was also feces or whatever this is all over the tank um, so I had to go in there and I had to really clean this tank and give it a really good clean and really just get all that grime and gunk and all that nastiness out from underneath the substrate and of course I'm using prime because water changes in prime go hand in hand prime is the only water dechlorinator that I use just unscrew the cap and poke a hole and you're good to go squeeze a few drops while you're doing your water changes and you will be doing your water changes correctly now I wasn't sure how Albert was gonna react to a python water changer into his aquarium but this is the reaction that I got a few times and honestly it seemed like he really liked this um, he wasn't really giving me the impression that he was feeling like like he was in danger it just seemed like he was really happy and excited that there was a lot of running water in his aquarium i guess he really liked the way that it felt correct me if i'm wrong i might be wrong but just that's just how i perceive that it just he was really happy that he was getting clean water i'm zooming in here on his gills because if you take a look it seems like there's excess like a thin excess of skin just coming out of his gills right there and i believe that's like fatty tissues i think i'm overfeeding him i've been feeding him to the point where some days where i think he is so full he doesn't want to eat i'm always feeding him to the point where his belly is bulging so i really don't know why people are saying that he's too skinny and all this stuff um, i assure you guys he is well fed and he is doing good for himself when it comes to feeding time all right guys so this is my canister filter for my 100 125 gallon tank the filter for my largemouth bass this is what keeps the water clean and does its job to lessen water changes this is my hydro canister filter and it has not let me down I ordered this canister filter from Amazon if you would like to purchase a canister filter just like the one that I have here then click on the link in the description it'll say this is my canister filter for my 125 gallon tank. Click on it, it'll direct you to Amazon site and you can buy one for yourself. Clicking on the link will help support the channel. I highly recommend this canister filter because I've had it for about six months now and it hasn't really given me any issues. Um, and it's really easy to clean. It doesn't really give me a hard time when I'm trying to open up the lid like some of the other canister filters that I've owned. So I highly recommend this canister filter. And it also does a really good job at cleaning the water clean um, with little maintenance. I hardly ever do maintenance on this canister filter. I think this is like the third time I'm cleaning this thing out since I've gotten it. You can also check out the video on me setting up this tank and setting up this filter. It's called the $1,200 fish tank setup. You guys should check it out. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give this video a like. Also, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already subscribed. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care and bye-bye.